What's up guys, Jake Larmier from Singular Agronomics here. Today we're gonna talk about my four favorite benefits of spreading dry humate on our farming operation. Number one is water holding capacity. Um, I believe, don't take my word for this, but I believe dry humate holds up to 20 times its weight in water. And um, basically, Humate is organic matter, so we're trying to mimic what organic matter does in our soil. Hold water, hold nutrients, this and that. So all the benefits that you think of what organic matter does for your soil is what we're trying to get out of a dry humate application. On the water holding capacity side, Mason Sheets did an awesome video about testing how a dry humate application will increase that water holding capacity. I encourage you guys to go check it out. Benefit number two, um, nutrient availability. So again, like I said, humate is organic matter. We are trying to mimic what organic matter does in our soil. So we're creating bonding sites for the nutrients that we apply, whether it be nitrogen, any of your micros, this and that. We're also trying to access ones that might be in our soil that we haven't been getting and making it plant available. All right, so benefit number three for me is improved soil structure. Again, I'm gonna say this a lot, guys. Like organic matter, we are improving our soil tilt. We are adding bonding sites for nutrients and water, and we're supporting the microbial life. Microbial life is the life of our soil, makes everything else function properly, and that's why we're putting on dry humate. All right, benefit number four for me is ease of use. Um, it comes in a dry form granular like your standard dry fertilizers that everybody's accustomed to. Um, pretty dense product, spreads really nice, can mix with a lot of things, MAP, DAP, MEZ. The only things that you do want to avoid when mixing dry humate is high nitrogen content products via your ureas, your dry AMSs, anything like that as they will try to bond together and they will gel. Now some methods that we use to apply dry humate can be dry broadcast spreader, air drills, box drills, and say a dry strip till machine. We've seen it done many different ways so far with great results. And today we are going to be throwing it out of a pull type dry broadcast spreader. Guys, thanks for watching the content so far. We've got a whole lot more on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube. Subscribe there. We put a ton of content on there that's, that's useful and have applicable information to help on your farms and day-to-day -day life. So go ahead, hop over there. If you want more information, check us out there.